We're going to get into the basics of how we connect Ableton to Touch Designer. So we need to open our palette and you'll see a tab called TD Ableton. Go to Live 11 Plus and we're going to drag in this TD Ableton package. And by default, we're going to get a bunch of errors. So it's important that we set this first. So it says Ableton Live Install. Select your version of Ableton. It points to our TD Ableton stuff and this usually all works. I'm going to press install pulse. It's going to say make sure Ableton Live is closed before installing and confirm. It should say it installed successfully. We're going to update all of our comps to 2.5.2 to make sure they're the most updated. So I'm going to click start and Ableton should launch. Here we see the built-in touch designer demo project and we need to ensure that the touch designer remote script is properly linking to Ableton. In Ableton, go to settings and make sure at the link tempo and MIDI tab, you should see one that says touch designer. You'll notice that once I do that on the master track, we have something called TDA master and that should say connected. If I turn it off, usually it disconnects, but mine's not. There we go. We see it refresh. We know from this that we have Ableton connected to Touch Designer and it should say connected. One thing I can't stress enough if you're building your own set is to make sure that we have a TDA master. All of the data that is being transferred between TD and Ableton is actually happening through Macs for Live devices. Once we've installed it, there's two places we can look. One is we have a user library and something called remote scripts and we have Touch Designer. The one called master is the one we would drag on our master track. We only need one on the track and it should be on your main track, which is really important. Okay, so I have a couple clips that we can launch, generic techno stuff that I just cooked up. Let's see what we can do with this. We're gonna go to our palette and explore a few of these different options. The first one we're gonna look at is a song and I'm gonna drag this into our network once we start playing, I'm going to close this so we can see them side by side. It's a bit of interface juggling here. We can see when I play in Ableton that we get some data initially right from it. The one I'm going to focus on just to start is beats. We have a four and floor beat. And if we look at Ableton, I just have kick drums coming in, which doesn't really matter. I just have them so we can hear each beat. And what I'm going to do is right click, make a select chop and select the song info beats. We can see it counting two, three, four, which is awesome. So I'm just going to stop this for a moment. We can see that it stopped. It's in sync.